Um, good morning, grade fives. I hope that you are well, safe, and blessed in this time of worry, anxiety, and concern. I have received a few emails from parents asking me to explain what a cross section is. I have decided to post this video, which I hope will help clarify the concept. First of all, I'll use a piece of lemon to demonstrate what a cross-section is. According to the definition that I have given, a cross-section is an illustration that shows a side view of a landscape or a physical feature. Now, let's look at this piece of lemon. Here is our piece of lemon. Um, if I cut the piece of lemon in half, I will be in a position to view the illustration from the side and thereby this giving me what I call a side view. Okay, so this lemon I've already cut it in half. Okay, there's one that's in half. Then I've cut this one into another half. All right. So if you were asked, for example, to draw the cross section of the lemon, what I'm expecting you to do is I'm expecting you to draw something that looks like this. Okay, so it starts off there and it goes up a bit and then that way. And then down and then something like that okay I'm not very good at drawing but your cross section will look more or less like that okay that will be our cross section for the lemon you understand me that's the back part of the lemon and that is our front part of the lemon so our lemon will look something like that so this here is the cross section of the lemon. Okay, so we're done with that cross section of the lemon. It looks more or less the same, but we are not putting a lot of detail into it. We're just doing the outline of the lemon to show what it would look like from the side view all right then now let's uh, let us use the same mm -hmm. concept or the same principle on the map of South Africa and I've put that map up on the wall for you there you all have this map in your exercise books on page 26 and that's the same map that I posted on the d6 so if we look at the map of South Africa Different colors have been used. I'm sure you can see the different colors here. We've got the green, then the light green, then it gets to light brown, dark brown, then we are back to light brown, um, um, light green, and green again, and back into the sea. Before, um, actually, we we cut our map in, in, in half, or maybe try and draw a cross-section, I would like to maybe quickly explain what um, um, the important um, vocabulary that you need to understand. We have spoken about the coastline, okay? Last time we did speak about the coastline and we said the coastline divides the land from the sea. So from this side, you're coming from the Indian Ocean, then you get to that line and you call that line the coastline and the coastline divides the land from the sea same applies on the other side you've got your atlantic ocean coming up and then you have mm -hmm. your coastline there dividing the waters from the atlantic ocean from the land okay so there is one definition that you need to understand what is a coastline okay a coastline is the line that divides the land from the sea. Then we have what we call the coastal plain. 
coastal plain is a low-lying area uh, or a low-lying land that is near the sea. So basically we are talking about this green part here. Okay, so these green parts are our coastal plains. And this low-lying stretch of land is actually very close to the sea and can be used for quite a number of things. Okay, as we go further in, we've got that light green. So all this part here, the light green and the green, is our coastal plain. And the coastal plain is can be used for building our houses. We can also have um, um, farming taking place here because the area is quite flat. It's quite gentle actually for farming to take place. Then from the light green we go to the um, to the light brown. And if we check our key there, light brown is between a thousand to a thousand five hundred meters above sea level. Oh, one thing that I need to to stress is that we always measure our height from the sea. So we are presuming that at sea level here we are at zero meters. Okay, so we measure from zero meters at sea level going up so obviously all the green parts here that you see on the map are between um, zero to 500 meters above sea level and then all the light green parts are between 500 and a thousand meters above sea level all the brown light brown parts are between a thousand and 1,500 meters above sea level. The dark brown now, the dark brown now, is between 2,000 and 2,500 meters above sea level. Everything is measured from the sea. Okay, so um, now we understand what these colors are for. They are just there to show you the height above sea level. So now we're going to try and come up with a cross-section of South Africa. So we are going to start from, from Durban, okay, round about there. And we are, we are actually cutting right across South Africa to the other side. So from Durban, right across to the other side. If we had to cut this across, how then would we um, draw? Okay, how would we draw our cross section? Starting from Durban, we'll cut through South Africa, right across to Port Nollis, which is on the other side, and try and draw the cross section. All right, so let's try and draw the cross section. Unfortunately, I'll have to be moving from one end to the other. So starting from here, um, we've got our Durban here and then we go through green. Can you see this green there and light brown? And according to our key, our brown, our, our green and light green are quite low lying areas. We're starting from the Indian Ocean. So we come back to, um, to our board. All right. Okay, so we're starting. Okay, there's our C there. Then we've got our Durban there. And then we are told that from Durban, from Durban it's it's quite, um, it's a low-lying area because it's between 0 and 500 meters above sea level. So we move from Durban right across. It's quite gentle. All right, quite gentle. And then from there, we go to the brown. And the brown is about 1,500 um, 1, meters above sea level. All right. So we are starting to pick up, as you can see. So we pick up. We're starting to pick up. We go up, up. And then we go onto the, onto the brown, the dark brown which is our Drakensberg Mountains, Ukatlamba Drakensberg Mountains. And then it starts to go down again. 
okay and then um, we have quite a, a, an area that is just we have quite an area that is just flat which is quite flat but it's high and it's brown in color so we go all brown and then from brown it starts going down again all right and it's quite steep there then it gets to the light green light green and then to the green and then down again okay then when it goes down it goes straight into the Atlantic Ocean Atlantic Ocean okay so on this side here here we've got our Indian Ocean sorry my pen won't right now Indian okay let's use a pencil so we've got our Indian Ocean here Indian Ocean okay and then on that side we've got the Atlantic Ocean if you look at this um, cross section it's more or less the same as the cross section that I gave you on the map okay so let's try and label this cross section so we are saying that from the Indian Ocean okay there's our Durban here okay and this is our ocean Indian Ocean we get to Durban there's quite there's an area here which is quite flat and we call that our coastal plain and we call that our coastal plain and on the coastal plain it's quite flat the coastal plain um, is a low-lying area um, that stretches um, for some time in this area can be used for building purposes mm -hmm. building purposes you can also use um, this area for farming purposes you can also use this area for farming purposes because it's quite it's quite gentle and then as you go up okay this area here which is very steep is called the escarpment okay and there's very little that you can do on the escarpment because this area is very very steep this is where you're going to find all your mountains your drakensberg mountains are on the escarpment we can not uh, build houses there it's going to be difficult yes it, it's possible but it's very expensive because the area is quite steep and the farming also becomes um, impossible because the area is steep as well. And because this area is mostly comprised of mountains, the soils there are not very good. Okay, so farming will not be possible there. Uh, building our houses is not a good idea there because it's very steep. But we can use um, this steep area for other things. For recreational purposes, for example, we can use this area is a tourist attraction area we make money out of the drakensberg mountains okay so we call this area the escarpment so and then we go up all that is your drakensberg mountains okay drakensberg mountains okay that's your drakensberg mountains there then we come down we have lesotho here Lesotho, we have our Lesotho there, and then from there, we have this flat area here. Okay, it's a highland, it's not a low lying area because it's not close to the sea, it's quite high. Remember, it was that brown part that I was talking about, it's quite high. So, that area there is high and it's flat, and um, it's an inland. It's in um it's it's an inland part of the country. So we call this area the plateau. We call this area the plateau. And how Teng um is situated on a plateau. So what happens here on the plateau is that 
the area is quite flat and it's inland. It's not by the sea. So what is happening here? We've got the coastal plain at the bottom, which is quite flat as well. So you can build, you can do your farming there. The escarpment on the other end, on the other side, on the other hand, is quite steep. And very little can happen on the escarpment. We cannot farm there. We cannot um, build there. Then we go up on the <clears throat> inland but quite high land. We have what we call the plateau, which is quite flat. Okay, It's a high, flat inland part of the country. And like I said, Gauteng falls on a plateau. But because it's flat, we can also do a lot of building there. We can also do a lot of farming there. Then we go down to the other side. Okay, so that light brown has now been here. Okay, so this light brown now is ending. Okay, so now we're getting onto the green, which means our height is falling. So when we get to the green, our height starts to fall. And as it falls, it creates yet another escarpment. Okay, so on that escarpment, nothing can be done. It's too steep to build. It's too steep to farm. So um, you have your escarpment there, and then it goes down again. And then here, quite flat, same applies to the other side. So we call this place the, the coastal plain. Coastal plain again. And what can we do here? Coastal plain. We can build, we can farm, um, because it is quite flat. So on this side as well, we can also build, we can also farm, it's quite flat. So, the escarpment is in between the coastal plain and the plateau. It's that area which is quite steep. It's very steep. This is where you find all your mountains, all right? The plateau is um, a high flat inland, okay? And it's found away from the sea. It's high, but you can do a lot of things there. You can do your farming. You can do your, um, your building. We come to the other side. Still the same, okay? We have our um, coastal plain at the bottom here, quite flat, very close to the sea. We can build, we can do a lot of farming there. Then we have our escarpment between the plateau and the coastal plain. And nothing can happen here because it's too steep. This is where you find all your mountains on the escarpment. And we are going to be talking further about the rivers. And you'll see that most of our rivers start on a highland. Okay, so they start on highlands. Like uh, Drakensberg Mountains, you have a river that flows from there going down. Remember, the river takes the easiest way down. Okay, so um, they all flow down to, to the sea, starting from a high point. I'll talk about that. Um, that's uh, a discussion for another day. But I hope you have understood um, what a cross-section is. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I think most of you understand what I'm talking about now. If that activity was a bit difficult for you and you did not understand what a, a cross section is, I hope I've, under, I've um, explained it. Please watch this video with your mom or dad and help um, and have a, sh a short discussion around it. To make sure that you understand what is happening. Have a lovely day. Thank you. We miss you all.